Welcome this morning to your Sing Snout Church, full of grace ministries, your place of worship. We got great singers below. We all need a savor this, these days and hours that we're living in. God is soon to return on the clouds of glory and take his people home. Trish is gonna read some scriptures from the Old Testament about God, our Savior, the creator of the universe. Go ahead. Okay, God our Savior, guide me in your truth, teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all the day long, Psalms 25, 5. Do not reject me nor forsake me, O God my Savior, Psalms 27, 9. Come quickly to help me, O Lord my Savior, Psalms 38, 22. Why are you so downcast on my soul? Why are you so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And that's Psalms 42, 11, 43, 5. Praise be to the Lord, to the God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens, Psalm 68, 19. Truly you are God who hides himself. O oh God, Savior of Israel, Isaiah 45, 15. And there is no God apart from me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none but me, Isaiah 45, 21. All right, none but me. Now that's plainly clear right there, none but me. Now that was in the Old Testament. And we also read she did um, that it hides itself. But we're gonna go into the New Testament and we're gonna find out where God has made himself known. Jesus, the Savior in the New Testament, not another one now, cause we're done found out there's none but me in the Old Testament. Acts 13, verse 23, of this man's seed hath God, according to his purpose, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. Philippians 3 and 20, King James Version, uh, for our conversations is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. In 2 Timothy 1.10, King James Version, but is now made manifested by his, uh, the appearance of the Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. We need a Savior these times we're living in. And God himself, the Holy Father, is your only Savior. Get to know him. And to do that, you better go into the New Testament and find out that Jesus, that that almighty God was right there inside of him, saving the world unto himself. Read on a little further. Okay, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given whereby we must be saved. All right, but you read in the Old Testament, in Isaiah, that there was none but God himself. Right. None but him, none but and that was plain. So this Savior Jesus Christ we're talking about has to be and got to be the same very God that spoke in the Old, yes. because we do not have two Saviors. Or There's two God. Or two God. God. There is one God, and this great God Savior was known as Jesus. Now I'm getting a little happy because I'm finding out that my God is not a mystery. He's made known to Jesus. John chapter 8, verse 23, they understood not he spake to them of the Father. Some people today don't understand when Jesus talks to them about the Father. They can't comprehend it that he's God in the flesh. John chapter 8, verse 23 through 25, go ahead. And he said unto them, ye are from beneath, and I, and I am from above, ye are from this world. I said to you therefore, and to you that ye shall die in your sins, if ye believe not that I am he. Ye shall die in your sins. Now we didn't say it, the Bible says it in John chapter 8. He said you will die in your sins. So we do not want to die in our sins. Almighty God, almighty God, keep us from the sins of this world. And he has done that when he shed his blood on the cross through the person of Jesus Christ, claiming to be the great I am. 
the God of the fathers who spoke to Moses in the burning bush. Who is your Savior today? Get to know your Savior. Run to your Father God that created the universe and find out that you can see Him. You can hear Him and see His face and it's in the precious face of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, the one true living God made Himself known through His Son. Now we can see Him and we have a Savior to run to. We got one name to call upon. Not a dozen, not two, three, or four, or five. One name under heaven whereby man can be saved. Run to Jesus. He is your Savior. He'll give you peace like you never had. He is a great God, and He's a mighty God, the great I Am, the soon coming King. Read on a little bit more. Tell us what Isaiah says. Okay, I, in Isaiah, he said, There is no God apart from me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none but me. In Isaiah 45, 21. And Jesus said in John 8, 23 through 25, He said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world. I said unto you, therefore, that ye shall die in your sins, for if you believe not that I am He, ye shall die in your sins. My precious friend in Christ, it, time is running out. Time is running out on us on this broadcast right here. But run to Jesus Christ, your Savior, not another Savior not another God. He is the only God that was in the first in the Old Testament made himself known as Jesus, the Son of the living God. Jesus is your Savior. We don't have two Saviors. And if there's not two Saviors, there's got to be one God. Hallelujah. Don't run to a bunch of gods. Only one God you need only if you believe in one God, you doeth well. You doeth well. Just believe that the, in the true God. And it better be Jesus Christ because the true God came down in the flesh. Oh, we got good singers below. Yes. Praise God. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to listen to them sing their song. Yes. I love them. And I'm sure they believe in Jesus and as their Savior. Lifting up Jesus. Lifting up Jesus. And when they do that, they're running to God the Creator. He says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. Church, lift up God the Creator. And to do that is Jesus. God Himself is a jealous God. Have no other God before Him. So we're not going to put another God before Him. But we know Jesus is the only way. It's got to be the same God. God bless you. We'll see you next Sunday. Listen to these great singers below. We love them. We wish them the best in Christ. <laughs>